Greetings everyone, I'm Kevin. Let's set up my reading journal for February. Just like last time, I had already sketched out how I wanted the title page to look. Because in February, we have the Winter Olympics and Olympics of Fawn. I wanted to have a sports theme or a winter sports theme. And because one of my absolute favorite sports is hockey, I wanted to have a lot of like hockey related things throughout the month. So I started with doing these um, hanging ice skates and then I had this idea that I wanted to have two hockey sticks that formed an X and I got the idea that what if I do my flags on the hockey sticks so that's what I did so I drew Sweden and Germany and then beneath it what holds the title of the, the name of the month is a um, a target for biathlon so in biathlon you do a part where you cross country ski and then you shoot on shooting ranges and depending on how that goes you do either you take a a penalty loop or you just continue skiing so that's that whole board with the five squares in it and then because it is the olympics as i said i wanted to have the olympics the olympic rings so i did these rings and then i filled them in to make them a little bit thicker and i also added these like black smaller rings to make it look like it keeps them together in a way but all in all i really enjoy the whole look to it that it's very Olympics based. Like you can't look at this spread and not think of the Olympics. Unless you've never heard of the Olympics, then I think it's just like, oh, rings, colorful rings. And yes, there are actually people who don't know that the Olympics exist. Like I have a student who was very confused with my colleague. I work at a school. So my colleague who is the PE teacher he talked about the Olympics and our student was like what is the Olympics and my colleague his heart kind of broke so yeah some people apparently don't know that the Olympics exists which yeah and then I went ahead and I colored in the ice skates and I really I, I think it looks really pretty I am a little bit um unsure how I feel about the sticks because they're kind of like this light peach color. I didn't have a better color to do. I could have gone with brown, but I didn't like any of the brown that I had. It didn't fit the colors that I had on the page. And then I went ahead and colored in my flags colors, which I think this looks really, really pretty. And I also filled in the five um, shooting rings or what that is called from the buy a flan target and then on the right page i will have my little youtube thing it doesn't look exactly the same as it did last month at first i wanted to but then i was like no i want to change it up a little bit i didn't really use my youtube planning page for january I do want to use it this month. I just, I didn't have any use for it in January, but what I really loved that I did was the little tracking thing that I had at the bottom, which I also do here. So on that tracking, we have kind of like on one side for the 1st of February and then the right side, the last of February, which is February the 28th. And what I do track is subscribers, uh, views, and watch time. So on the first, I will write how much, how many subscribers, how many views, and how much watch time I have on my channel. And then on the 28th, I will fill in how many I have then. And that way I can see the progress that I make. I should have also mentioned that on the title page, I wrote the month February, 
which is the German word for February. I was for January I wrote it in Swedish and this time I changed it up and I wrote it in German. So I am going to switch between my three languages a lot. In February worked better because being one letter less it fitted symmetrically on that little shooting target different than Feb February or February would have done. And then what I'm doing here is my sports calendar. And I did a sports calendar for January as well. I love I loved that. But tracking all of the Olympics, I would have needed a spread. So here is me planning my Olympics sports spread. And I was very confused because I forgot about the last day, um, the 28th. As you will see, I will included there in a little like smaller square it doesn't look very pretty and then I fill in every sport and I wanted to do kind of the day or the time so I changed from the entire time and only when it starts so I filled in every single sport and what time it starts on that day and this is so that I can have this spread with me in my reading journal and just open it and be like, what is, uh, what sport is on the television today? And I can just, oh, okay, so this I'm interested in, this I'm interested in. And I will only have things I'm interested in. And for some, it doesn't say specifically who is playing. There were some curling that it didn't say that it was Sweden participating or Germany participating. I only really follow Sweden and Germany because they're my countries. So I'm not really interested in following any other countries. And also if I would have followed more countries, I wouldn't have enough space to write them. But this is kind of what the what it looks like. It looks so weird that the absolute bottom page is ink, like it was empty because it's after Olympics. But then we move on to my TBR page. And as I said earlier about hockey, I made the TBR title into a puck. And because I wanted this to have a different theme than the last one, I didn't want it to look as notebook in the way that it was lined. So I made it very much like black and white or grayscale but I did do, so it's uh, TBR, read-alongs, and then read a fonts And then I also did arcs. And on the right, what I wanted to do for books read, because I did really love that I had a books read for January. I loved having all the books that I read in January on one page. I decided I want to do it as a hockey jersey. So I'm going to write every book that I read in February on the back of this hockey jersey. And I just find that idea so, so fun. And I am very intrigued to see how it will look at the end of February when it's filled in with a lot of books. I hope it's gonna look really cool. It could also look very messy, but we're gonna see. So this month I am only participating in Olympics of Fun, which lasts from the 2nd until the 20th of February. Really, really exciting. And that is also something that I thought was very fitting because of the sports theme. I wanted to give Olympics of Fun its own spread. So here I'm just writing the prompts for the Olympics of Fun and after going through this, I realized, hey, wouldn't it be fun if I used the colors for the Olympic rings? So I did. I went back to see the rings and I pulled all of the colors and I decided to go ahead and do that. So for the main prompts, there are five main prompts, which was perfect for the five rings. And then on the bonus prompts, there are five continents, five translated books. So there are 15 prompts or books that divided by five. So very fitting to have the the Olympic flag uh, colors. So I thought that was really, really fun to do. 
And then I can just color in the color of the ring when I finish reading the book. So here I'm just filling in the rings for the colors. And fun fact, I'm doing this on the weekend while watching um, a biathlon. So there was a biathlon competition on Saturday that I watched while filming this. So whenever I stop a little bit, it's because, oh my God, something is happening. And then I fill in the book that I'm reading next to the prompt and for the five continents, I specify what continent it is. I was thinking for the five, the five translated, should I write the original language next to it? But I decided, nah, I'm not gonna do that. And then I fill in the books that I had already read. And now I'm going to color in my TBR page. I'm coloring in the puck and the jersey. I do like how it turned out. It was very tricky to do it in a, in a good way. I do like how it looks. It just looks a little bit messy. And then I used this gray for the titles of my different TBRs. And then I colored in the jersey. You can guess what country inspired the colors of the jersey. You, you can uh, go ahead and uh, um, uh, guess that if you want to. I do find it kind of funny that both my countries have the color yellow in the flag, which I, my favorite color is yellow. So like it has to do with that. But for Sweden, they always use this bright yellow, while Germany usually has a golden yellow or mustard yellow, more so than a bright yellow that Sweden uses. Even though both has yellow, it's different shades, which I find like nice, because if you look at the countries with red, white, and blue, it's the same shade of red, white, and blue in almost all of them. But for Sweden and Germany, the shade of yellow is different and I kind of enjoy that. And then I'm just going ahead and filling in the different books and the prompt for the book, starting with the Olympics of Fawn and then going on to Yeti BRZ. And as you can see, I filled in a reading for two books for the Olympics of Fawn it's because I had already finished those. It's The Perfect World, Volume 1 and 2. I really, really enjoy them. And now I want to get my hands on the next books in the series. It's currently 11 books. I don't know if all of those 11 books are translated to English, but I'm excited to continue that series. I really, really enjoy it. And then here what I'm doing is I'm preparing my little The Dragon Republic spread. I did one for Poppy War. I did just one page for the Poppy War. I really enjoyed having that while reading the book. My issue with the Poppy War, the page, was I didn't have enough space for notes. So I thought, okay, this time I'm gonna give the Dragon Republic two pages so that I have a lot more space for taking notes. I had planned to be to participate in the live show, but unfortunately the Poppy War live show was the exact same time as the world, the Euro Championship finale of handball that Sweden won. So I missed the live show, but Sweden won gold. Yeah, <laughs> but this time I couldn't find a live show I don't know if the date was set, but I couldn't find anything. But that's what this little white thing at the bottom right corner is for. Like you can see me bring up my phone. It's to check, is there a live show planned? But I couldn't find anything. So I'm leaving the little white thing there empty. And then when it's time, when I know the live show, when it's gonna be, I will just fill in in that white space when it is. And then I'm trimming the corners of the pages and I am really happy with how this spread turned out. And this month's color is this light purple, kind of lavender purple. And I used that color as well in the end, or in the front of the book when I finish a page. 
when I finish a book, I will color in the square of the month I read it. So if I read it in February, this is the purple that I will color in the square. So then that's all of the pages finished. So let's do a little flip through. So here we have my February spread, really love it. My YouTube as well. And then the Olympics sports calendar, my TBR page. The Olympics of fun. I don't like that the jersey is see-through, but and then the Dragon Republic. So these are all of the spreads for February. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, and I will see you next time. Good reading. Bye.